welcome to the vlog. It is 7 a.m. Uh, 7 15. I'm actually a couple minutes late. Barely got any sleep last night. And uh, today, heading off to Tulum, Kabu, uh, Playa del Carmen, and the Cenote. So let's get some quick breakfast and get into that right now. Heading over to the place for the tours now. Got some breakfast in and I'm a couple minutes behind. Also, I lost my cap yesterday and it uh, does not seem like they found it. So I guess I'm going capless for the day. Wanted to buy another cap, but I'm already a minute behind where I need to be. I don't know, about two minutes away, so let's uh, we're not doing the cab today. I have reached the spot where we get picked up from, and I have been told I'm at the right spot. We've got five to seven minutes more before transportation gets here, and uh, then we'll be on our way. All right, we have found our transportation, it is a van. All right, so they basically took us from uh, this small little transport. And we are now here at these big buses. So, uh, going into that. All right, we have made it out and he has instructed us to use bug spray the minute we step out and there's a cool ice cream place and the ice cream is our spoon is our ticket to the restroom apparently. Go for it. Go to the toilet, follow me. Uh, not sure if I want to do that, but uh, we're going to do it anyways. This is our tour bus number 33 and uh, we're here probably gonna go try the ice cream first because we got to get the key to the toilet remember okay gracias let's uh, taste this legendary ice cream i'm not a very big coconut fan but that was really good i actually um i enjoyed the coconut in the bathroom here we have these cool little little things look at this so you can push it to get it's pretty cool so I'm gonna try some of the Rufo's queso. See, quanto? So I got this little juice here, and she said it's gonna take a 10 minutes to prepare fresh. So I'm excited. This is the juice. You know I like fresh stuff. Hmm, this is actually pretty good. So Rufo's, probably the local brand. Uh, it's like, look at this. It's like really cheesy. It tastes almost like a like a cheddar cheese. It's quite good. We have begun the walking tour and uh, the man is holding the red umbrella leading us on this wonderful tour. Guys, it has not begun raining and I actually prepared for this eventuality by bringing an umbrella except that it's in the bus. So uh, here we are in the rain. <laughs> Should I go back and get the umbrella or just stay wet? No, I'm too committed to it this time. We'll have the umbrella in the next one. And the tour guide told us that this shower is for free, guys. And uh, just like that, the rain has kind of come more or less to a drizzle and uh, will soon come to a halt. Remember, this is not Florida. <laughs> oh, looks like we're getting in this line to go in here. Past the line, waiting for the others to clear. They checked our temperature and uh, asked us to wear a mask. So, nice. Good that they have some safety measures in place. There's a sign there that says no drone zone. So I guess we can't get the drone up here. I had to pay 50 pesos to get my GoPro in here, which is what I'm filming this on. And uh, they didn't really check my bag, so I didn't see any of the cameras. So, we'll see. Let's 
So we have been divided by English speaking people and Spanish speaking people. I guess it's uh, probably more effective that way. So uh, we're here with Gabriel is his name and uh, he's somewhere up there. We are entering the palace, El Palacio. Mystical. <laughs> As we continue in Tulum, this would have been a beautiful drone shot. Too bad it's uh, no drone zone. And now we are at the beautiful photo spot. Look, it's the beach. And uh, people are taking some beautiful photos and then we'll be on our way from uh, Tulum. Juice that I got earlier. Yeah, I, I totally forgot about it. So we're gonna go get that now. <laughs> So my aim, the next time I come back here, is to go with the Spanish speaking people. So I gotta polish up my Spanish skills. <laughs> Fresh juice and holy schnizel. This is delicious. Oh my God, it's so good. It's 125 pesos, so it's like, um, like a little bit over six bucks, which even by US standards is expensive for a juice like this or typical for a juice like this. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, it's delicious. We made it back to auto bus and um, I've got my delicious juice here look at this they've got like a nice little table thing here in, in the bus and I'm so grateful for air conditioning <laughs> here's another thing I realized in countries like Mexico and this is even true of India the consideration for time doesn't really exist so when he said 1235 all the Americans here were like oh shit it's 1233 like let's go let's go let's go and we didn't see a single Hispanic person till almost 1252 is when the first person walked out of the bus. And <laughs> the guide was here, so it's not like uh, they didn't get back. So, respect for time. I like that America has respect for time. We made it to the lunch stop. It's a buffet. And it looks like it's a small, authentic restaurant. Look. Well, this seems like a pretty basic Mexican lunch. And this place has also lost electricity. There we go. Cheers. Next archaeological site here in uh, Koba. And uh, look, they have bike rentals here. And apparently it's a five kilometer track. So we're going to attempt to walk it because we need to digest some food after lunch. <laughs> They got these cool little tricycle things here where people can just hire them to uh, drive them around but we're gonna walk I guess we can because those guys are so far behind <laughs> <laughs> We are leading the line and some people are holding us back so uh, we continue walking <laughs> And we are hitting up the big temple here. So let's see. It says no drone zone. That kind of sucks. We have made it here to the first archaeological site. Well, look at that. That's a that's the the, the Mayan building. It's got 174 steps, I believe. So uh, let's get a closer look here. Well guys, our tour guide here, his first language is uh, Mayan and he taught me how to say my name is so Inkaba E Kabir, haha -ha, in Mayan And the purpose of this building was to watch who was coming and who was living on the Mayan road Oh, this or is a watchtower to watch who's coming and who's going and it's like so, on the crossroads, pretty cool so essentially this is a ball game court and the way this game is played is there's three players on this side three players on that side and they can use their elbows knees and hips to move the ball and it needs to go through that little ring over there 
and it was a sacred ceremony from what I understand and it wasn't really used for fun and uh, games. Pretty cool traditions that uh, older people had uh, and uh, generations to come. Very interesting to see this. And the winners were then given the privilege of sacrificing different parts like their ears, fingers and sometimes even penises. Yeah. We've been told we're going to a shaman ceremony now, which is super, super exciting. I did not see this on the itinerary, but he's mentioned it in the morning, and now he's mentioned it again, and this is actually quite exciting. So uh, let's see what turns out there. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to videotape or photograph any of that, so you're just going to have to grab my word for it. Uh, and uh, we shall then have two more destinations before we make it back to Cancun. So stick around till the end. So we had a surprise stop on the way at a this uh the, the shaman and he did like this wonderful ceremony with the fire water uh earth and wind energies and just kind of really moved energy around it's really beautiful what makes me realize that you know kind of everything is really energy we're all basically made of light right and it kind of shows up for me in different parts of life and as i start to pay more attention i start to notice that there's so much energy around us and really we're all made of energy so um super beautiful message and I really felt that energy during uh, the ceremony as well and it kind of sprinkled some sacred water on everybody, super cool. Now back to Lao Tubus and uh, we are getting out of here to, I think we're going to the cenote next and that is basically the, um, the sinkhole in, in, in the land where there's a blue, blue, blue water. So let's go get some of that footage uh, now. We have made it to stop number three for the day, three or four. And we are now heading to the cenote. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. And uh, no, I'm talking to you, yeah. Yeah, just turn that like button into blue. That's right. Excellent, let's get into the video. All right guys, we are ready to go. Got my life jacket and we are gonna be heading into the cenote. Wow, look at this. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, time to go under and uh, see what the under has to show us. We will switch the camera over to this accessory. All right, guys, I got all my gear on and we are going under to check it out. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Oh my god, this is so beautiful. That's so cool. Alright guys, I am breaking the rules for you, so make sure you hit that like button and uh, let's go the water. Alright. <laughs> Ditch the life jacket. Let's see what we have under here. <sighs> Alright, let's get out of here. We get changed before the entire crowd makes it up there because it's already quite late. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and as we climb back up into the mainland, we can see here that we are now out here. Back to land, and deep down underneath is the Nautilus. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. So we made it here to Playa del Carmen, and uh, the bus tour guys have a contract with the shop here where we can uh, go and use their restrooms and very strategically placed to the back of their store. So here is their store here at Playa del Carmen, and. Uh, I am now gonna go out and explore a little bit of play at the comments. So let's uh, do that and finish off this vlog right after that as well. So this looks like a shopping street. So look. So I can use rapport and bargaining skills here, but what's causing me to lose the argument is that I'm not understanding Spanish numbers. So I need to get Spanish numbers down because the minute I say the number in English, I'm able to do the rest of the argument and the rest of the negotiation process in Spanish. But the minute I go numbers, I have to go English and that causes me to get the gringo pricing. So I need to work on my Spanish numbers. I wanted to try some street food and this was the closest to it. So it's a, it looks like a, like a chorizo hot dog kind of thing. This is the finished product. And we're going to put some chibi 
Alright guys, we're gonna wrap this vlog up. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe down below as well. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Well, surprise. Uh, we were supposed to get out of here like 20 minutes ago. And uh, the other bus from the same tour company actually, um, well, they shut down because their bus wasn't working. So we had to take the battery out of our bus to help them. And I, I totally get that. But um, right now we're, we're just stuck here and they're not able to put the air conditioning on inside the bus either because they had to take the battery out. So hopefully we get out of here quick. We have to remain flexible. This is where the battery would go, right there. And uh, as we can clearly see, there is no battery. <laughs> the engine is not starting without a battery, folks. The bus is started and the battery is back. Well, let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, I'm out, guys. Bonus footage over.